So it's been quite a while since I talked about a game and I wasn't completely sarcastic about it. I'm of course referring to the IGN slash crap reviews, but in light of the channel's recent growth, I wanted to take this opportunity to promote a game that I think has a lot of potential and truthfully deserves a little bit more recognition as the game's only been out for two months, it's already a couple of updates in and continues to receive quality of life updates, improvements with so much more sets released before the game leaves early access. And that game is of course Proteus. So what's Proteus? Well, to cut the bullshit, it's another Doom clone. Like we really needed one of those. Yes, we, we actually did. We can't have enough, actually. Now, I've been playing Proteus since it first hit early access in early November, and I never made a video on it for a number of reasons, but if I was to boil it down to one specific reason, it'd be that the amount of content the game has couldn't justify a quote-unquote review. Yes, it is in early access, just like Ultra Kill was back when I talked about that game, but at least with Ultra Kill, there was a lot of mechanics and nuances that you slowly learn as you start to play like the fact that you can actually melee your shotgun shells for those to fly faster and explode upon impact learning quick weapon combos and transitioning from a slide to a dash to attaching yourself to a wall to double dashing and ground slamming and hitting enemies when they fly in the air there's just so many things to experiment plus the health system in the game just makes the overall product novel in a lot of ways which in my opinion even though it was still in early access just like proteus the novelty of the combination of everything that Ultra Kill had going on for it was still at least worth talking about. In contrast, Proteus initially just felt like the original Doom remastered for the modern era of gaming, with a few extra gimmicks, like every single gun in this game has an alternate firing mode, and even though the art design is going very retro, paying homage to the original Doom games, you can turn enemy sprites into full-blown 3D models, and I make a lot of content around Doom where, specifically in Doom Eternal, you can see the damage that you're inflicting on your demons with chunks of flesh flying off, the same thing happens in Proteus. I mean, this game is incredibly gory, with a fantastic soundtrack the weapon sounds all have a good amount of heft to them. Gameplay is fast and incredibly addicting. It's a game that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. I just held off in the beginning because I felt like the asking price, even now, is still a little bit too high. It's $25 USD for a three hour snippet of the campaign that's set to release whenever the game leaves early access. And then the rest of your time is pretty much gonna be spent in community made maps since this game does come with a level editor, which at first I was really hoping wouldn't be a gimmick, like something the developers really heavily marketed and pushed only for it to be completely incompetent, lazily implemented, and the community for it to just die within a month or so. And don't get me wrong, there's still plenty of time for that to happen, but luckily, uh, so far so good. I've, I've been coming across a lot of really good maps. The developers have just implemented something that allows you to search for maps a little easier. They have these two tabs that are called staff picks and, and contest winners. So those that have the best maps have a chance of winning $1,500 and can reach this page where all the contestants with the best maps are easy to find. And then you have staff picks, which are basically more community made maps, but the developers have played through these levels and gave it their seal of approval saying that the quality quality is high enough to be something that they would have made themselves. And then beyond that, they implemented actual search tags. Maybe you want to search via Quake or Doom inspired levels. Someone actually recreated the intro of Doom 2016. You spawn in this room with quote unquote three zombies. You see the Slayer's sarcophagus, the Slayer symbol directly above it. You enter the next room, you pick up your armor. Praetor suit has been equipped, pops up on your screen, and then you proceed to enter this big ass room that has the same exact layout as the room from Doom 2016. The only difference here really is in 2016 where you interact with the Gornest, you don't have that 
really in proteus you just have to interact with this uh cinder block it disappears and then a bunch of enemies spawn in that you then have to clear out which is awesome it's simple it's glory it's amazing and for what it sounds like a lot of people are creating entire campaigns and from some of the better levels that i've seen i'm i'm genuinely excited some of those levels are better than anything i've come across in the campaign and that's saying a lot the, the campaign has some really good levels now before i continue on with some more pros and cons i do want to say if this game was a little cheaper it'd be a definitive buy it i mean i genuinely don't have any real complaints about the game besides i still feel like it's way too easy the game does not punish you for dying in no way there's almost no difference between playing on very easy or very hard the only difference is damage values I think where your health naturally is going to deplete faster because enemies do a little bit more damage but I don't think it affects reaction time I could be wrong but even if it did it doesn't matter because you can clear out two rooms die in your third room respawn and then room one and two it's still going to be cleared out of enemies. You're just basically going to be running down hallways and empty rooms covered in blood and no new enemies are going to spawn. I think that's a terrible choice. If I die, I want to be punished for dying. I want to be told that I fucking suck. Upon death, I want the type of fear of, oh shit, my dad lost his job. He just stormed in. He's drunk. And my mom found out that he's maybe in the closet. It might have been fooling around with her brother, aka my uncle. So it might be best to go live with grandma for a while. I want that type of fear. That's weirdly specific, but we're gonna move on. The game does not punish you enough. I think a good middle ground would be when you die, enemies all respawn. Maybe stronger enemies respawn in their place or you get double the enemy types and instead of finding yourself in a position where you're low on ammo maybe giving you an ammo boost all your weapons are reloaded and then you can just run through all those rooms again which by the way weapon reload it, it feels really weird in this game especially since your dual wielding smgs i think they're called swingers uh, they share an ammo pool so if you're shooting your left gun your right gun's magazine is also being drained so you have to reload them simultaneously even if you're only shooting one you have to reload both in a pretty lengthy animation that just feels very off for the rest of the game so i think the game would benefit drastically to just axe reloading all together maybe keeping it to the quad shotgun similar to how doom has it with the super shotgun since you're pulling so much inspiration from doom i don't know why you had to even have a reload mechanic same with the sprinting it's almost like they did it to kind of separate itself a little bit from doom and it just makes the game feel like it's at odds with itself at times but speaking of the sprinting they have it where you have to manually sprint i mean you can make it toggle or even i, I was told you can make it an auto sprint which is great i'm glad they're giving us options but it feels like a war crime to just have manual sprinting in a boomer shooter and considering they're implementing a dash feature sometime soon it just doesn't really make that much sense to have a sprint and a dash i would say axe the sprinting make that the default movement speed and then just throw in the dash which sounds like a fantastic idea because there is a small amount of platforming in this game you can maneuver around projectiles they're not just hit scanned enemies so having the ability to dash will not only make the platforming sections a little easier but flying around rooms and dodging enemy attacks would just become so much more fluid anyways for the most part that's my gripes with proteus it's not hard enough I think it needs to be a little bit more punitive. I would also say that some potential boss fights might benefit the game. I don't know if they plan on having any boss fights. For the most part, right now, you do have these harder enemies that do pop up like a boss, and then later on in the campaign, they return again, but there's no health bars in terms of them being a boss when they first appear. They're just new enemies that are a little bit more of bullet sponges and they have different attacks that you don't really see from any other enemy types. But that's pretty much Proteus in a nutshell. If you guys want a full blown review to see what exactly Proteus has to offer, I will leave a link down below some extra reviews from G-Man Lives and a couple other channels that you can definitely check out. But I wanted to just give my two cents on this game and share it a little bit more as it's, a, it's one that has a lot of potential and since the developers are only two people, the fact that they're already pumping out all these updates, they're incorporating a dash and some new weapons relative soon uh, it was something that I wanted to say because just like ultra kill when this game leaves early access that price is definitely gonna jump and speaking of new weapons they already shared the concept art of the full auto shotgun it's gonna be coming to the game relatively soon which looks fucking cool I, I love this game's art design but anyways let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below have you, have you guys played Proteus have you guys heard about it if you guys have been playing it what are your thoughts any additions that you recommend or suggest or feel would benefit the game let's talk down below but like always guys my name is Cynic thank you all so much for watching but until next time I'll see y'all later